Welcome back to the performance video training series. Over the course of the next two videos, we will explore the system views in Tune Mode. After designing, connecting, and testing a system, Tune Mode is used to adjust settings like gain and delay, as well as applying calibration and EQ filters to acoustically optimize the system. When entering Tune Mode, the gain system view will be active by default. In gain view, every device has a gain control overlaid on top of it. By default, the gain value is set to 0 dB. The gain value of any device can be increased or decreased by clicking the plus or minus icons. Double click the gain value to enter a new gain value using the numeric keypad. In this example, the bottom cabinet in the main array can be shaded by 1.5 dB. Any change made to devices on the left array tracks to the right array. This is because the group is set to link gain across the group. This link can be changed by clicking back into design mode selecting an array, and changing the linking properties. To turn down the gain for an entire group, click the relative adjustment control at the top of the array. Any increase or decrease in gain from this adjustment will adjust every device relative to its current gain setting. By subtracting 1 dB here, all devices are now set to minus 1 dB, except for the device which was already set to minus 1.5 dB. This device now has a gain of minus 2.5 dB because the gain was reduced by an additional 1 dB relative to its current setting. Clicking the Views dropdown exposes two other views we are already familiar with, Mute Matrix and Speaker Preset View. Use the Mute Matrix view to toggle the current mute state of any bandpass, device, array, or group. Entering Speaker Preset View provides an opportunity to change the current speaker preset for each array live. In the Views list, under Gain View is Polarity View. Entering the Polarity View overlays a polarity toggle onto every device. Clicking a device toggles the polarity from normal to reversed. You can see the device change to an amber color and the tooltip will show up to indicate what the setting was just changed to. Polarity is provided as a troubleshooting tool and is generally left untouched. There is no reason to swap polarity on any devices here in this example, as they are all wired correctly. One important note here, there is no need to flip the polarity of rear-facing subwoofers in a cardioid array. The rear preset for subwoofers recalls a factory-optimized speaker preset for correctly deploying a cardioid subwoofer array. The next view located in the dropdown is Delay View. In Delay View, a delay value is overlaid on top of the devices in the workspace. Full range and multiple subwoofer arrays have a single delay control for all devices in the array. At the top of the first array in a linked group, or every array in an unlinked group, is a relative control. This control functions like the relative control in Gain View. Any positive or negative change to this control will adjust all devices relative to their current delay setting. Using this technique, 5 milliseconds of delay time can be added to the subwoofer array to align it with the main speakers in the example. Pressing Enter, we see that all subwoofers now have a delay value of 5 milliseconds. Next, 4 milliseconds of delay can be added to the front fills. Just like Gain, we can unlink array delay settings by navigating back to design mode, clicking the array, and changing the link properties in the panel. Delay can also be set by feet or meters rather than milliseconds. To adjust the unit of measure for delay, click the menu at the top left of the screen. Click Settings, and then select Delay Unit Settings. Change the delay to whatever unit you prefer. Because the speed of sound varies by temperature, it is important that the ambient temperature is specified when setting delay by feet or meters. Clicking the Ambient Temperature tab in Settings allows this information to be entered in either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Clicking the X will close settings. If the delay units were changed, the delay value will update to reflect the new unit. In the next video, we will cover calibrating and applying EQ to your system in Tune Mode.